Welcome back, everyone. Vince, I really love this segment. Not that I don't love all our other segments, but this is sort of, we just have a lot of fun. It's a lot of different things. It could be anything. We've got three really fun things this week. I went out to LA this past week and I interviewed the cast of Bad Santa too. What can I say? Most of what is in the film I really can't talk about, but it's pretty damn funny like the other movie was, the first one that everybody loved and became a cult classic. Then of course you're going to tell us about part two of your interview with your great friend Ron Jaworski. And then we also want to show you that Coming to Philadelphia is Broadway. A great show that's been on Broadway called An American in Paris is going to be here in Philadelphia. So, yeah, I've got Jaws, Joan. Uh, we, we were having so much fun in the first interview that we couldn't stop talking. That's how I got the name Jaws, by the way. And you're going to find out how I got the name Jaws. You know, he was the first player. I was the first guy he ever met when he came to Philadelphia from the Eagles. We've been friends ever since for almost 40 years. So a lot of stuff comes out about how he got to where he is now. And this is about Ron Jaworski as opposed to the Philadelphia Eagles at this time. And you're going to like this interview. It's really telling. I definitely want to see this because I love finding out all those kind of in inside stuff about people. So here we go with Bad Santa 2, Ron Jaworski, and American in Paris. Thirteen years ago, Bad Santa became one of the biggest holiday films of the season and has become a cult film ever since. The wait for a sequel is finally over because Bad Santa 2 is about to hit movie screens with Kathy Bates and Christina Hendricks joining several of the original cast members. You are standing on my spot. Really, that's funny. I don't see your name on it anywhere. <laughs> you so the very first time I interviewed you, you were a mom in that movie. It was called Failure to Launch. You were oh. Matthew McConaughey's mom. Obviously a very different mom than you are in this film. So I'm wondering, did you have a lot to say in the development of the character in this film? Because she's just outrageous. Uh, no, I, I felt it really fit me like a glove. <laughs> or at least some crazy portion of my brain somewhere. Um, I was such a fan of the first film. I was eager to fit in in the right way. And so I, I felt that you need to see where Willie comes from, and it's pretty horrifying. <laughs> I love to read production notes, and you said a very interesting thing about Billy Bob. You said that he's truthful, and that's really important to you when you are performing with somebody. So how important is that characteristic? You, you really get your performance from someone else. I mean, you're listening to me, and I'm, I'm you're focused on what I'm saying. You're not focused on what you're going to say next. And it's the same when you're working with an actor. I've got to focus on him and react in the right way from what he's really saying. So that's that's what we do. And if there's something, if, if, if it's not real, then it's very hard to react truthfully for yourself. So the look of your character. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, they must have worked overtime to come up with, with some of these looks. So when you were out on the street and you would see something, you'd say, mm, I'm going to have to remember to tell the costume designer <laughs> about that. Well, actually, Mario and I, um, uh, he came to the house and he opened up his lookbook and there was exactly who I had in mind. I wanted her to be an old biker chick. Uh, she's had a lot of rough road. I was lucky that I had Mike McCash from uh, American Horror Story. He helped me with the tattoos, you know, and uh, we, we just wanted her to be rough and, uh, and, and, and a real contrast to, you know, her, her uh, disguise. But, and it was just so much fun to play that kind of character because I would never be that way in real life, you know, so to really have the luxury of just being that character and having fun, you know, it was great. This is quite a different uh, role type thing for you. How much fun is it to go in and do something so totally outrageous and fun? Uh, it was a blast. You just sort of have to just let everything go. You can't be self-conscious. You can't think about it. You just got to throw yourself into it and um, go for it. And then you have that smile on your face so that tells me how much fun you had. I had a blast. It. I had a blast. 
Are there any nerves going into a film that you know has a really big fan base? Uh, everybody that I know that saw Bad Santa, the original one, though it's been a while, just loved it. So you, there really is a built-in fan base. So is it a little nerve-wracking to come into something like that? I'm, I'm always nervous going into a new project. Every single time I think that that's just part of being an actor, wanting to do your best job. And, and working with this caliber of actors is just, you know, so extraordinary. And, and um, so I wanted to, you know, jump in seamlessly and join the family. And um, I was also just excited, just super, super excited. So this is not exactly your normal uh, Christmas or holiday movie, just slightly different. Wondering, I always love to ask when you do a holiday type movie, what was your favorite one growing up that you still love to watch every single year? It's a Wonderful Life. That's my all time favorite. So the language in this film, of course, is just slightly off color. It's but... similar to It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> yeah, now that comes Come to think of it, yeah. you're right, you're right. <laughs> I'm just wondering who of all of you on the set sort of talks that way when you're not on the set. There's gotta be somebody. I'm sure Kathy Bates is just has a filthy mouth. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Probably, or something like that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was lovely to talk to nice Joan, to to finally. <laughs> There's nothing like having fun with your buddy. And Jaws and I continue our conversation next week about Ron Jaworski. And you don't want to miss it. It has been a big Broadway hit. And now it's coming to the Academy of Music in Philadelphia on November 22nd. So if you love Broadway musicals, go see An American in Paris. because we get to do a whole bunch of things and talk about a few different things, whether it be sports or a Broadway show or a new movie. It's just like a really fun segment for us. And I can't believe this half hour is gone already. It's all right. That's because we're having too much fun, Joan, and that always happens. But next week, you're going to love it. And make sure you have an invincible week. <laughs> oh!